got surprised by this giant thing. So this is all built on a Ford F-250. I'm pretty sure it's called the Rhino. That's really cool. But then this is even more cooler. It's Aston Martin booth. These cars just look incredible. So I think that's the Vanquish. I don't really know my Aston Martin name, but look at that. I mean, the interior is so nice. This thing looks spectacular. LEDs don't really flicker like that. It's just a refresher. Look at the LEDs that makes it look like that. Damn. So that's Bentley. So this is all Bentley. I don't know why the line is here. 458 Spider, I believe. Okay, so here's BMW. That's the M or the 7. 750 or M750. Basically, it's the 7 Series with the sports package and the V12. That's really cool. I wonder if we can look at the engine. I really want to see that V12. M5, M3. I'm really big fan of that 7 Series with the V12 because you don't really see those. What does that say? Oh, E drive. Oh, okay, so it's the elect hybrid, hybrid 5 Series. I guess so. These guys are gonna open the hood. We're gonna check out the uh, engine. Did it open? Being a car thief these days got to be a job. Right here. That's the oh, that's camera. camera. Yeah. <laughs> it took like six guys to open this. Finally, one of the workers came, opened the hood. Look at that V12. Yeah, really. It has no hood lash. So all you need to do is pull the thing twice on the inside, and the hood just comes up. Big fan of that car. Here's the new Lincoln uh, Continental, I believe. Oh, the MKZ. I want to see the Continental. This is really cool. The Lincoln Navigator. That's a really cool car. The new Navigator is really nice. That paint is so cool. I've made it my way down to the McLaren. Uh, the McLaren booth. So I think that's a 5. Is that 570? Yeah, 570S. Spider. So it has the removable top. I don't know if you remove the top. I think it's uh, convertible. I don't know. That's really cool. The 720S is one of my favorite cars ever, and I feel like everyone says that, but it's so such a cool-looking car. But look at that exhaust. Alright guys, so I'm gonna I wanna check the interior out on that because those are really cool, but I guess we can check the interior out on this F Sport Coupe. Ooh man, these seats really just these are like racing seats. Very aggressive. So it's got actual kind of pretty good paddle shifters. I don't know if you guys can see those that well. Pretty nice. Got your uh Mode select, mouse pad for the uh, screen. It's not a mouse pad, it's like a touch pad, I guess. This has a really nice interior and I really like this feel. The seats just feel so good. Let's close the door. Dang, this is a really nice car. This is literally feels like really good. I'm very impressed. So that's my reaction of uh, this. That's like their new almost supercar. It has like a V8 and everything. Really want to see that. They say the interior of, of this car is like just one of the best. People keep sitting in it. So I'm not going to wait. Here's Volkswagen with the Beetle and the new Atlas Volkswagen with the little Golfs and whatnot. GMC. So far, one of the best booths were Lamborghini because it just looks cool, and then Jeep because you just have a lot of fun in it. Here's Chevrolet. That was pretty cool. That's a new Travers. This is a pretty cool one. Chevy made a nice one. Here's a new Camaro SS. Okay, it's Ooh. The new Chevy ZL1. Look at that spoiler. Carbon fiber spoiler, carbon fiber hood, I'm assuming as well. Man, if they got the ZR1, that would take the cake. Look at that. There's that supercharger. That's a nice looking car. It's got all the carbon fiber accents. They got the Z06. They should have had the Z01. Because like Z06s are nice, but like the ZL1 is even better. 
All right, now this is one of my personal favorite cars ever, the new Mustang GT. This is not a GT, that is an EcoBoost. But that's a really nice looking EcoBoost. It's got the black roof, black deck lid, whatever you want to call it, blacked out thing. Ford got a racing simulator. game is a lot harder than it looks. I didn't even finish, wasn't even on the scoreboard. I am so tired and really hungry. Anyways, here's the uh, the new Bullet Mustang. Effortlessly, effort, effortlessly cool. I believe they're only manuals only, so you can't even get in the 10 speed automatic. Canada's doing like a, a comedy show. I should ask if I could be in it, you know. Ford, new stuff. Man, they don't even got a they don't even got a Shelby or anything. Here's a stock F250. Probably the only stock F250 here. Here's this new tailgate thing. So you can step up on the new Ford trucks. You just grab and then you step. It's a really big bit truck. Uh, that's really cool. 350 maybe. Uh, that's F450. So this is Ford F450. These trucks are huge. Oh man. Look how, look how luxurious Ford truck is. He's got leather. Bring this up. Oh man. Look, that's a safe. That is a safe right there. You can open it. That's so cool. I didn't know you could get one with the safe. Then you just got like the normal controls and everything. I, I wonder if I locked the horn. Man, they disabled the horn. That was probably a good idea. Cool. This is a really nice car. Or truck, I should say. And then it's got the running boards that retract when you uh, close the door. There is something in my shoe. There's a splinter in my sock. Here's the new Raptor. It's got the EcoBoost V6. They make a lot of power though, like 600 horsepower. Let's go to Alfa Romeo. Dopest cars ever. I love this. Alfa Romeo, I think it's called the Guglia or something. I seriously love this car so much. Yeah, so the Alfa Romeo Guglia. Oh man. Guys, this car. It's got an automatic transmission. It's disabled right now. Oh wow. So this is a mode selector, and then you got D N A. That is so cool. Some dynamic. I don't know what any of that means. That's really cool that the start button, start, I pressed the start button and my seat moved. That was really cool, I love this thing. Such a nice car. That's like one of my favorite Alfa Romeos ever. Let's see all the other stuff they got. So they got the new Alfa Romeo SUVs. Here's another Jeep one. They put the front windshield down, which you can do for like, if your windshield gets dirty, just put that thing down. I don't know why there's two Jeep boosts. Oh, here are the STIs. She's got the intercooler at the top for the turbo. That's as much as I know about that. <laughs> I think I've went through it all, because I came in from Toyota, went to Subaru, went all the way around, went to the Jeep one over there. Here's Acura, we'll look at that in a second. Went all around there, came back out here. So I think I've seen pretty much everything. I might not come back for the second day. This is the Acura RLX. And those headlights. Those headlights look really good. Let's see the inside. Okay. So yeah, this interior is actually really nice. It's got the heated steering wheel. The steering wheel is really warm. Okay, someone turned on the heating steering wheel, so the steering wheel is really hot. But this is a very nice interior. It's kind of basic though, I mean, Acura, Honda, you know, so it's, it is pretty basic. Didn't surprise me like Lexus, like Lexus really surprised me, but it's still pretty good. There's Audi, let's go to, oh man, how did I miss that? There's the Audi R8. This is Audi's booth. They got the Audi R8 right there. One of my favorite Audi cars is the RS7, because those things just look amazing. Here's the new Audi R8. It's most likely got Brembo brakes as well, I'm assuming. Um, that looks so nice. It's the Audi R8 Spider. 
The new taillights, they look pretty, they look amazing. And then the new RS5 is right here. So they got the RS5 and then they got the RS7. My absolute favorite twin turbo V8. That thing looks amazing. Man, I need to sit in this and let's take a look. My first time sitting in an RS7. I really like their uh, shift knob right there. It's got paddle shifters. I'm driving back up tonight. Like the plastic ones. The engine start stop button is right here. Passenger side. Oh, I really love this car. And actually, you know, I also want to sit in the back. So I've always wanted to know what the back seats feel like. So I'm a little bit over six foot. Kind of fit pretty good. As you can see, my knees kind of hit, but I feel like the passenger seat is really back. Um, no headroom, my head is literally hitting the top. So that's the only thing I feared if I ever bought an RS7, you know, was uh, the rear is kind of really small because it's a, it's like, it's supposed to, it's like designed as a coupe and that's the day. This paint is so cool and the spoiler. Right, so I'm back at the BMW booth because uh, these rims on the 350i wagon look so nice. Oh, there's Lamborghini. Lamborghini literally has the smallest booth but it's one of the coolest looking boots ever. They know that their cars are absolutely amazing. Guys, here's the Lincoln Tech with a Formula One car. They're letting people sit in. <laughs> man, I want to sit in this thing. All right, guys, so this man is graciously letting me sit in. Uh, is this a Formula One or? Indy car. Indy car. I've only seen this in video games. Oh, man. Oh, that feels so cool. Let's put in the quick release. Steering wheel. This feels so cool. It's like molded for a human body. Look at this gear, guys. You got your tires right there. Side mirrors. Now the previous guy had a little problem getting out, but <laughs> yep. Oh, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, man. Man, that's so cool. Thanks. Take care. Enjoy. Life. You too. There's an Allison transmission. That's really cool. I think they put those in like really big like diesel trucks and stuff. I don't really know. I've just heard of that name. Triple A insurance with the Mercedes, the Mazda cars. If you guys didn't know, Mazda made like a crazy $10 million engine you guys should search on YouTube for. It's a $10 million engine. It's basically like a gasoline diesel engine. Crazy new technology. So I just ran into the Dodge Demon. This thing looks amazing. Those wheels are so cool looking. It looks red in the video, but it's actually orange. 840 horsepower. It doesn't have the drag slips on, which I'm surprised. I thought they would have been showing that off. We got the Hellcat uh, Charger. I keep getting Charger and Challenger mixed up all the time. Let's go check out the new Honda. I think they got the Civic Type R. Three exhaust pipes. I'm gonna see if I can sit in it. So as soon as you get in, you see these bucket seats. Man, these seats, honestly, the Lexus seats were like the the best bucket seats I sat in. I don't know if they were actually bucket seats, but they like gripped you really nice. They're just kind of like wide. I'm a skinny guy, so. I hate when people play this music. But yeah, it's pretty cool, you know. Has a manual, manual gearbox. Shouldn't be doing that probably, but I pressed the clutch in, so. Oh, what's the third pedal do? Um, so that's pretty cool. It looks cool, I don't know. I think I'm done. Yeah, so I definitely should get food. So yeah, let's go get some food. Let's take a break. All right guys, so I'm taking a break. Got my pretzel, some cheese, some water, you know. Next time, next we're gonna go drive uh, some of Toyota's cars and Ford's cars. I got the bands on. Guys, check out this twin turbo Camaro. The Ranch Smokehouse specializes in town at the family their menu at ranchsmokehouse.com. It's got a, it's got a cage and everything. It's one of the coolest Camaros I've ever seen. Here's this hot rod. Those are always cool. So I guess it's time to go drive some of the Ford and Toyota cars. Uh, yep. That is yep. so cool. Look at this splitter. It's literally on the ground. That looks so sick. All right guys, so I'm on my way to uh, go test drive the cars. I'm like under the uh, convention and this place looks so cool. Massive. 
Yeah guys, so I just drove that new Tacoma. It was really sick. This guy knows everything about Tacomas, man. I just drove the Tacoma. It was really nice, you know, punchy, uh, light, and kind of, it was pretty fast. It had the TRD package on it, so the exhaust was actually really cool. They didn't let me record in it because um, it was like a distraction. They would get like suit or something. I'm at the uh, drive booth. They're gonna let me drive a Challenger, or Charger. They're gonna let me drive a, no, a Challenger. I keep getting them mixed up. The lady is letting me record. All right, guys, so we're in the 2018 Dodge, uh, Charger? Yeah, Charger. We're in the Challenger. Challenger, 6.4 liter RT scat bag. That is so cool. So there's going to be a cone and it uh, looks like a man. Yeah, man. <laughs> to the left of you. And you're welcome to turn it on. Oh, okay. There we go. That should be the international symbol of move. <laughs> so just so a couple of like rules of the road. It's a 485 horsepower. So you can't put it in the manual mode? Uh, not with this particular car because the amount of power yeah. that it holds. <laughs> the throttle is like very like sensitive. We like to use words like responsive. Responsive. Yeah. Responsive. responsive. It's like a woman. We're not sensitive, we're responsive. <laughs> and a sports car or a sedan or something. That's so cool. It's an entrance and we'll take that entrance. Alright, thank you. Bye! I just drove that. It is such a cool car. Oh my god, that had the scat pack or something like that? It was so sick. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'm done with the show. Got a lot of stuff, kind of forgot a lot of stuff in the inside. That was awesome, had a really good time. Kind of want to go back and drive like the Challenger and Charger again because that was really fun. They were so funny. They were like, they would bring me out like in an open piece of land and they'd be like, just punch it. And then I would like punch it and it was, it was so sick.